a lot of law enforcement right in that area. Jim, I know you just arrived there. What can you tell us? Well, not too much right now. While well, you're looking at it mainly, you're letting the picture tell the words here. Uh, you can see all the law enforcement that is out here right now. Now, this is, a, this is an area, this is a very rural area. There's not too many, like you said, there's not too many homes around here at this location. But again, there's a large uh, police presence. You definitely don't want to be down in this area at all. This is going to be directly uh, south of the lake, only about maybe two or three miles uh, south of the Shawnee Twin Lakes here is where this location is. And uh, like I said, I believe I, I believe that's double check. I'm, like I said, I haven't had time to really get my bearings here, but I think that's Walker Road that is right uh, below me. And it's going to be north of Highway 9 here. So it's in a very rural area, very wooded area, not too many homes. And like I said, there is a huge police presence uh, out here. So you want to avoid this area. As we get more information, Robin, and if we see any movement, we'll keep you updated. Jim Garpoint live from Bob Mills, Scotty's 9, back to you. Jim, thanks so much. We do know the Shawnee SWAT team is arriving on scene as the search for this gunman continues in the area. So this is the scene live playing out here at 9 o'clock, again, just north of Highway 9. And uh, as we were listening to the scanner traffic and uh, well aware that someone had been injured and then learning it was a deputy, law enforcement we could hear from scanner traffic would be uh, arriving there on the scene and they're continuing to search for uh, this person who possibly has an AK-47. Again, this uh, initial call came out as some type of domestic disturbance. They believe the man's spouse is in the house. They do not know the spouse's condition. And that is the big question. Is anyone else injured besides the deputy that they pulled to safety? As soon as we get more details, we'll let you know this is obviously unfolding minute by minute. We're also trying to be very careful mm -hmm. uh, with the location of investigators, knowing that uh, this suspect is still on the run. And uh, obviously their location and their plans, uh, the tactical maneuvers, they, they want to be careful. So we are very mindful of that, trying to keep a safe distance. And uh, when you look on the map and you look at Jim's shot here, a uh, couple of properties out there, they're very large properties, so a lot of acreage in between houses. They're making sure everyone's uh, safe. The area is shut down. They don't want any other folks being pulled into this crisis uh, that's unfolding between Pink and Bethel Acres. And it really uh, could uh, be a while before they uh, end up finding this person because you can see I mean this is a heavily uh, wooded area lots of trees in the area kind of a rural area out in Pottawatomie County Jim Gardner over the scene and uh, Jim you know the search for this man it could take some time well that's right Robin uh, just to update you here now I got my bearings here we like I said we're we got a lot of stuff going on up here especially if you got a person running around with AK-47 or something like that they can reach us we're pretty high because they can reach up pretty high and and hit us but right now we're where you're looking at that the interchange there it's going to be just to the left of the screen it's going to be patterson is the road that goes east and west and new hope road runs north and south and runs into the south end of the twin lakes of the shawnee so again it's patterson and new hope road definitely for probably about a mile or two each side of that uh, intersection you want to stay clear and not even come into this area like i said there's a large police uh, presence they do have the road shut down towards highway nine coming north i saw that blocked i'm looking up north i don't really see uh that it's blocked anywhere up there is, until you get to patterson road so you just want to avoid this area at all costs while they go into this manhunt here like i said it's very wooded up to the north and then it's a big open field to the south so we don't really know where they're concentrating their search right now but we'll keep you updated jim Gorbert. Jim Garpoint live from Bob Mills, Scotty's 9, back to you. Jim, all right. And uh, Jim, we're, we know you're staying a safe distance back because, uh, as Lacey was saying, uh, AK-47, if that is what this armed suspect has, can fire 300 yards. So we are uh, trying to, as Lacey was uh, saying, monitor safety and keep everyone up to date on that situation. Trying to figure out if there are any schools remotely in the area to see if those schools are on lockdown. We know parents uh, uh, questioning some of those things. We're trying to get answers for you and obviously investigators at the scene very busy, but they're also trying to uh, disseminate information to us. We're gonna keep monitoring this live shot and make sure that if anything happens, we can take you there, uh, but a very serious situation unfolding. I don't know if we can go back to Jim for just a moment. Jim, I know as you are monitoring that scene, is there any way you can tell uh, are they out in this wooded area? Is there an area where it seems like they're concentrating more at the home? Or can you see if there are any of the uh, authorities on the ground there searching? No, no Robin, I really haven't uh, seen anybody yet. Uh, like I said, we're up pretty high and uh, 
but it looks like it may be to the, so I'm, I'm in a hover, I'm pointed towards the north. So the right hand screen's gonna be to the east, the left hand screen's gonna be to the west. It looks to me like maybe to the east is where they're kind of concentrating, working over that way to the east of where that house is. So again, like I said, I haven't seen any activity uh, uh, moving yet through the woods or anything like that. Like I said, they may be awaiting for more and more deputies right like I said Shawnee SWAT team's on its way out here they may be waiting for them you know when you got somebody armed like that the last thing you want to do is start running into the woods several deputies you know running into the woods and not really knowing what's uh what's going on they want to get that perimeter set up they want to make sure everybody's safe and get it locked down to where you know hopefully he doesn't come out past the perimeter at all but you definitely don't want to be running through the woods with somebody armed like that all right, Jim Gardner there uh, over the scene. This is uh, live basically right on the Pottawatomie and Cleveland County line. As the uh, scene unfolds, authorities are looking for a gunman. Our reporters are there on the scene uh, gathering details as they can. They tell us a medical helicopter is on standby, uh, ready to take uh, anyone injured. Again, we're trying to get details on the deputy that was pulled to safety but shot. We're also trying to get details on whether anyone else is in the house where this domestic disturbance call first came out. They do believe a spouse of the man is in there. Was that spouse injured? All questions they're trying to get answered for us. And as we uh, were listening on the scanner this morning as this started unfolding, we had uh, been hearing from several law authorities that several rounds of gunfire had been heard and uh, over the scanner we could tell this was a very serious situation that was unfolding and then the word came in that the Pottawatomie County deputy had been shot and so uh, at this point we do not know any name or condition but uh, an ambulance had arrived at the scene and then now it does uh, look like a medical helicopter is on standby. We're also being told uh, the, the police and law enforcement presence on the ground is growing. You've got several agencies now involved in this. Obviously, Pottawatomie County, the sheriff, his whole team is out there. The Shawnee SWAT team being called in and really all local law enforcement to shut down this area as best as they can, especially if this man gets out of the house and goes on the run, which is what they're trying to see. Is he still in the home? Has he uh, left the home? Uh, it's changing minute by minute. That's why they basically want to shut down this entire perimeter because it's heavily wooded couple of properties out there, but that's why you're seeing so many law enforcement on the ground right there at Patterson and Austin Drive. Jim, are you able to see the medical helicopter that has possibly landed in that area? Okay, Roger that. Jim, it's Robin and Lacey again. Have you possibly been able to see the medical helicopter that has been landed, uh, that has landed in the area? Uh, no, I haven't, uh, okay. Robin. Uh, like I said, it looked like an OHP just showed up. Uh, mm -hmm. So they, they got a tactical trailer and truck that they that OHP just pulled in here. So we're kind of watching them, but I haven't seen uh, any place where the helicopter is. Uh, it could be uh, some distance away here because of uh, what that person is armed with and stuff. They may not have brought him down this way, but if we, uh, we locate him, we'll let you know.